Today is kind of a special day here in the bus build. It's one that we've been looking forward to for a really long time. We really kind of thought we were gonna put off to the very end of the build. We are designing and building our cabinets. We've got a little less than 20 feet of cabinetry that's going in this bus. Some floor to ceiling, mostly lower cabinets, and we've got some pretty cool things planned for some of the cabinets. But the first step in this process has been like the, the first step in many other processes on this bus, and that involves measuring, then designing in 3D, and then in doing all of our dimensional cuts and setting our tool paths for the CNC, because I just don't like to work with hand tools as much as I possibly can anymore. We should be able to get quite a few of them installed, but I've got to take just a couple more measurements inside the bus, and it's so nice today, I may actually end up moving the bus out a bit so I can get some, you know, natural sunlight and vitamin D and all that fun stuff. So stick around if you're curious to see what's going on here to see how we're building cabinets as opposed to buying cabinets because we made that mistake very early on in our first bus build and we'll never do it again. So I finished cutting our sixth cabinet, but I believe this saved me a heck of a whole lot of time in comparison to just the traditional methods of cutting cabinets. It took us uh, nearly two weeks to do our van cabinets, and that was really only uh, a wardrobe and like three other cabinets. So um, I've accomplished that in essentially today. You may be wondering what these cutouts here are for. Why it doesn't just look like a traditional cabinet? Because this is going to be positioned over the wheel well. I hate to admit, but Maria Jose from the past was very mad about Chase buying a CNC machine. Maria Jose from the future, seeing the cabinets and seeing everything we have got done with the CNC, I prefer this purchase. Now for the trash cab. <coughs> what a beauty! Look at that. Designated trash cans. Are we uh, are we ready to screw it in? I'm ready. Oh 
I just realized that I've been talking for like 10 minutes and I never recorded. I was saying that the next cabinet I'm super excited about because it's pure luxury for me. It is something that we used to have when we live in a house, but we haven't had since living in a vehicle. And it's gonna be game changer now. We're gonna have two kids, two adults living in a school bus. What do you think this luxury item is? Comment down below. I tell you in one, two, three. Did you comment? This right here is the cabinet for our dishwasher which is gonna be so nice and I cannot wait to show you how it looks like. moment of the truth. Baby, I swear to God, it looks so good. Yeah, we'll have to cut out sections for the pipe. To go in. Yeah. But besides that, I think we have a winner winner chicken dinner. Like a glove. Oh my God. Pull it out for me. So the next step in the uh, dishwasher cabinet that we're going to have to take is getting the dishwasher back out of here and then we have to cut uh, two holes for our water lines and then for the drain and then we'll also need to cut an access to wire the wall plugs into this cabinet. What a good fit. Forgive my... Uh... My terrible cutouts here, or my terrible drawings for the cutouts. They're not the best. Hi, Ellie. Are you leaving? Ciao. Nice. Oh my gosh, what's up, Shugi? Hola, Ayla. Ayla, ¿te gusta el bus? Sí. What's up, Jake? What are you doing, Jake? Oh no, I love the oh my gosh. degrees and it feels like 70 degrees outside with the sun which means another beautiful day to get cabinets done after seeing some of the cabinets and some of the changes we have done in the bus I don't hate the bus as much as I did a couple of weeks ago so I'm excited I'm excited to see the progress hopefully today we'll have most of the cabinets done but let's get to cutting and gluing screwing and putting together some cabinets. Here's our oven cabinet. So the oven will sit in here and then we have 
a deep drawer here for pots and pans. This one turned out really nicely. I feel like every cabinet I'm doing is turning out a little bit better than the last one. I just remembered I didn't account for the fill thing, the gas fill thing. Dang it. The diesel fill. Of course, there's one thing that I missed when uh, when I was designing this. I forgot about our diesel fill inlet. There's a little triangle section where the fuel line or the fuel hose goes down into the diesel fuel tank. And so I'm going to have to cut a section out of this beautiful cabinet. And I'm, I'm just in pain thinking about it. This is one of those reasons why I actually prefer building inside of a van. There's just so much less to have to build around all the time. It's way easier to just start significantly fewer modifications. So but it, it is what it is. And uh, we've just got to get it done. So that's what, uh, that's what I'm doing now. Doing that to such a nice cabinet. All right. Hold it. It's pretty heavy. Do you think you can hold it? Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> You're just gonna use that one? Okay. Muy bien. Wow, it's coming together. Hello. Can you hear me where you are? I search for ways to call to you. I wish I knew today. Wow, I think we only maybe have one more floor to ceiling cabinet left to do. I can't believe I cut one, two, three, essentially four cabinets just today alone. Got them glued and screwed, assembled and set in place. There are minor adjustments for some cabinets like I've got to put a plug here in this one. I don't even really know why, but I do. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Then we gotta <laughs> disassemble them <laughs> and stain them. So we got a little bit of things to do before face frames and before you know permanently placing them where they're gonna be. But this is a really good look at the final-ish kitchen. There may be one more thing, maybe two more things, maybe. You guys, tell me this doesn't look freaking awesome. I'm truly loving how this bus is turning. And I cannot wait to show you our next project, which is probably what, bathroom? Oh no. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> it just gets so expensive at the bathroom. <laughs> oh, how much do you think we have spent in this bus so far? I don't know, but we've got $40 left. <laughs> so let's see how we can renovate a whole school bus with $40 left. Don't forget guys to subscribe and like this video if you want to continue watching us build this bus we love you we appreciate you and we'll see you next video bye marisa meant to say share this video with your grandkids if your grandparents share this video with your uh grandparents if you've got grandparents share this video with your mom because she's really gonna like it your dad too uh your cousins that you haven't talked to in a while just share it to everybody. Put it on your Facebook. And when people go there, they don't know why you shared it with them. Just do. What's happening? It's not starting. The bus is not starting? You've got to be kidding me.